That stinks. <laughs> Good morning guys, do you know where we are? I kind of quiz you every time I'm like, you should know. It's been one week since um, I came in and they figured that I had ovulated and so um, today is the one week after appointment where they are gonna check my blood to make sure my hormones don't like plummet and kind of prove myself that my body can handle um, sustaining a pregnancy. So anyways, that is where we are. That's what we're gonna go in to do. Let's be honest, I'm trying to talk to you and take out the stroller with one hand. That's not realistic. Okay, hang on. And Alex, are you on any hormones right now? No. Okay. Here we go. One, two. Okie dokie. Quick. Well, that was super quick, and I think the fastest appointment I've ever had. I made it at the very, very, very end of the day, and it was just blood work, so I literally walked in, got my blood work, and walked out. It was so great. So anyways, we'll get the results tonight, and then we can talk about kind of what that means, because I don't even know what the results are yet. Um, but yeah, anyways, off to Costco. We got so much stuff to get. Actually, not so much stuff. Mostly diapers and formula, because that's important. That's like the most important. Hello? Yes. Um, unfortunately, you don't qualify for the natural cycle. So we'll have to move forward with the medicated um, FET protocol. Just curious, what, what was wrong with it? Um, so your estrogen level, we want to be over 150, uh -huh. and your estrogen level was only 98. Okay. And then the and, progesterone? And then your progesterone level, we would like to be over, well, ideally at 15, and it was 13. Okay. So basically, that just tells us that you need a little bit, like, a little bit more hormones um, naturally so that we, for this cycle. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, is there, like, only because, like, we've got, like, some major life changes going on. Could stress yeah. be um, a change? Just because I know every time I've got my hormones level drawn before, they've always been perfectly normal. It, and it, it definitely could be. Um, it, you know, it, a lot of factors can play into your hormone levels. Yeah. You know, so if things are changing. Um, but also with time, you know, you, you also, your hormone levels can change and actually, you know, not be as sufficient as they could have were in the past as well. Yeah. Like if you want to talk with Dr. Hatch about it, I can let her know. Um, we can always do an additional monitoring cycle, um, but at the end of the day, Dr. Hatch is obviously going to recommend what she thinks is the best course of action to get you Right, pregnant. right. No, of course. She's actually not in the office on Wednesday, so okay. we just went over the labs over the phone, but I could have her give you a call um, maybe tonight, if not, then tomorrow. Okay. I can let her know that you want to talk with her. Yeah, yeah, that would be great. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Who would I talk to about, like, the finances side of it? Um, for the medications, I could look up what the cash price is for the estrile vial. Yeah. I believe it's around 200 and you use about one vial per month. Okay. And each vial is about $200, so you're looking at, you know, 200 times three months being on it. You might use up to four vials, so, you know, $600, $800 for that. Okay. If, you know, depending on the prices. I know the prices also fluctuate so just depending on the market price of them. Um, I can look into the current price for you as well. Okay. The progesterone, um, I'm not sure the current price. I'll send an email to our pharmacy mm -hmm. and see what their current cash prices on both of the medications are for you. Okay. I don't know if this matters. I qualified for compassionate care, so I went through uh -huh. Freedom Fertility last time. I can check the prices through both Freedom and MDR if you would like. Mm -hmm. um, however, I will say that neither of these medications would be covered under the Compassionate okay. Care. Okay, that's what I, yeah, I but didn't I think can, so. But I still can double check to see, you know, if Freedom happens to offer a cheaper price on the right. meds for you. Right, of course. Um, okay, sounds good. <laughs> I'm so sad. Okay, sorry. I know, I hate giving the bad news. I know. Um, I'll, I'll let Dr. Hutch know, though, still that you want to talk to her, okay? Okay, sounds good.
Okay. And then let me know if you have any other questions. Otherwise, I'll do some research in the pricing for you. Okay. okay? Thank you. No problem. Okay. Bye, Ellie. Bye. I'm just bummed. <laughs> um, I mean, this is like nothing, but I'm just bummed that um, honestly, I don't want to do injectable meds and I don't want to pay for injectable meds either. I'm just sad. <laughs> I really thought I would qualify for a natural cycle. I thought that my hormones would be totally fine by themselves without having to have injections. So we've had like a lot, a lot going on recently. And so I don't like part of me in my mind goes to like, well, like this is like the most stress like I've been like ever. And so I don't know if that's like playing a part, but like cycle wise, like even when you're stressed, like your body should still be able to maintain the hormone levels. So. I'm assuming she's gonna say something along those lines, but um, it stinks. <laughs> it stinks that my body's not like can't do it on its own. It really stinks. I don't have like a m much to say, but. Um, What are you doing? Yeah. yeah. You have a happy day? Happy day. I haven't talked to you guys since I was sad and Philip came home and I said, you have to take me on a walk. Like I need to get out and just sweat a little bit or something. So still feeling or something. Like discouraged. But okay, here's my two things. Um, most people do it with injections anyway, so why is it a big deal? It's not a big deal, it's just more, I don't feel like it's a super great indicator this month. I knew I was long, and I know we haven't really expressed it very much, but I have been more stressed this month than I've been in a really long time. Like, mm -hmm. I laid on the couch the other day trying to take a nap, and my my heart was pounding out of, the ch out of my chest, and so I know that that can drop your estrogen level. Yeah. So anyways, I don't know. The doctor is supposed to call me either tonight or tomorrow and I can talk to her about it, but it might even be an indicator that my body's too stressed to like hold on to a baby right now. So I don't know if IVF right now is like the best idea. So, and that makes we me sad. We want it to be, we really want it to be, it but. Makes, it makes me really sad because we, we keep announcing all too. these big things, but you know, there's even more stuff that we haven't even talked to you guys about that's still, that is also going on. And so that's another indicator of like, more stuff than stress and things and so I don't know but I feel I don't feel like I don't think like my mind doesn't feel stressed if that makes sense like I think my body is like feeling stressed anyways <sighs> I don't know so I guess I'll get a better idea when I talk to the doctor but wasn't the best news today hmm so but you know what's good news today Everybody and how sweet their comments were from yesterday's video. I know. You guys are Everybody's so, so wonderful. Supported. And we really want to tell you guys more information. When we are able to give you guys more information, then we'll bring you guys kind of along the day-to-day -day mm -hmm. once the stuff starts to speed up. But we're kind of in this process where, like, it's just we're doing things here and there, and then we're in a waiting process. Yeah. We're going to keep on hiking and walking because we love this, and we've just gotten to O'Neill Park, and it's a gorgeous park. What are you doing? <laughs> oh. Is that what you wanted, Kinsley? Some snackies. 
Well, of course I'll run for food. So will Daddy. Okay, it's about time that we say goodnight to you. Uh, I just wanted to say thank you so much for being along in our journey today. Uh, there was a quote that I wanted to leave you today that I thought would be kind of pertinent to Alex and, and kind of what she dealt with today. As she mentioned to you guys today, it's not like a game changer for us. It's not the end of the world. You know, not being able to do a natural cycle is, it's just a bummer. I mean, that's what it is. Uh, there's an author, her name is Corey Ten Boom. She uh, was the author of a book called The Hiding Place. Um, she once said this quote, and it's really stuck with me during difficult times. She said, if you look at the world, you'll be distressed. If you look within, you'll be stressed. But if you look to God, you'll be at rest. And I've always clung to that in the midst of just disappointment, big or small. Um, and just known that if we look at like the world, we're going to be just discouraged constantly because the world is not a perfect place. Uh, if we look within and just think that like we're the ones that can make life happen or not happen, it's going to eventually get to us and it's eventually going to kind of stress us out. But if we look at God and we just look to his promises that he gives cares for us, and that we're not alone, and that this journey that we're on called life is not all about us. Um, it's about what we can do for others in the process and what you can do for others in the process. And so even within our own lives right now, there's a lot of uncertainty, there's a lot of transition, there's a lot of even chaos day to day. I mean, I, I sort of had a discouraging day and I can definitely go into more of that later, but I just look and I'm like, you know what, it's not about me fixing my own self. It's not about the world telling me right and wrong, um, but it's about me just saying, you know what, I'm not in control and I'm okay with that. Even in the midst of our ups and downs, um, just know that we stay positive, not all the time, but close to it. Um, and that's because we have God and that's because he gives us hope and that's because life is not all about us. Um, and so we're grateful for that. And so uh, tomorrow is a new day. We get to turn over a fresh leaf and it's going to be a great one. So my encouragement to you guys today um, is to just know that you're not in control and that's a good thing. Um, I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you guys continue to let your love multiply. You guys are absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm.